Today you need scissors, glue, and five or seven pieces of paper. The kind of paper and the color doesn't matter. I put all of mine together and cut once down the length of the paper so that I had seven long strips of paper, all the same size. And I'm gonna keep them together and I'm gonna fold them in half hamburger style. That shows me where the middle is. And I'm gonna use some glue and I'm going to put all of my pieces together so that they match at the fold. And I'm gonna kind of rub in between each layer to help make sure that they're secure. So you can see my ends are kind of lined up and I'm just gluing only the centers, right where the fold is for each layer. Five or seven pieces of paper works the best and it doesn't matter what kind of paper you have or what color, that's up to you. You can also use tape to hold these together or staples. If you use liquid glue, just make sure that you don't use too much. Just a couple drops between each layer will be fine. And then tap on my glue and I give it another couple seconds to hold it together. Now, each side of each paper, I'm going to do something different to, and it doesn't matter what you do. So for this yellow one, I'm just going to make a whole bunch of cuts to the center where it's glued, and then I'm going to turn it. And since we're working on symmetry, I want to do the same thing to the other side so that my two sides of my sculpture are the same, symmetrical sculptures. Then I want to bend these yellow ones out of the way a little bit, make them stick up a bit, so that I can get to the green paper. And then I wanna do something different with the green paper. Doesn't matter what I do, I could bend it or fold it or cut it however I want. I think it's fun to roll it over a pencil. So you can just Curve it and roll it, roll it all the way down to where the glue is. And then it makes like a curly cue. I'm gonna turn it around. Since we're doing symmetry, I wanna do the same thing on the other side, get those yellow ones out of the way. And just roll, roll, roll. All right, now my blue one. I think I'll do a zigzag fold. So I'm gonna fold it forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. And then it makes an accordion. Same on the other side, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. I think it's a little bit easier to tell what paper you're working on if you have colored paper, but like I said, anything will work. Or if you're using white, you could always color. Now, I'm gonna take the whole thing over and I'm gonna turn it over to the other side just so that it's a little bit easier to see to work. I think I'm gonna cut some more strips on this red one, Except this time, I think I'm gonna roll each individual little strip on a pencil and make some small curly cues. Same on the other side. So I've cut my strips off the red. and then roll them onto a pencil. Like I said, you can experiment. You might come up with some ideas that I didn't think about. Just have fun with it. Whatever you do to one side, make sure you do to the other side. Now I think I'm gonna combine things. So I'm gonna fold it up and then I'm gonna roll it backwards. Do the same on the other side, fold the blue one up, and then I'm gonna roll it backwards. And then I think I'll repeat one of my techniques. So I'll do another zigzag. You can repeat things too. And if you notice, I left the white paper, the one that was in the middle, I left it straight. You can leave your middle one straight as well. And then when you turn it sideways, you can fluff it a little bit if you want. But when you turn it sideways, you end up with a symmetrical sculpture. It's kind of fun. All right, have fun, guys.